Okay, so I'm subtracting 19 from both sides just like I did when it was an equation. And I end up with 3.5x is greater than or equal to 1.5x minus 26. What's our next step then? Yeah, we want to get the x's together, so we're going to subtract 1.5x and get it to the left side of this inequality. And we end up with 2x is greater than or equal to negative 26. Okay, I'm going to pause here because after teaching this for years, I know a common mistake. You're dividing here. We're going to end up with a negative. Do we flip the sign? No. Why not? It's not that the answer is negative that makes it flippable. It's what we're dividing by. What are we dividing by here? Positive 2. So the symbol stays the same. And we end up with x is greater than or equal to negative 13. Now when we were finished up here, we were finished. Unless we wanted to go back and check our work. Down here, we're... In order to finish it, we have to graph it. Again, it doesn't have to be a very detailed graph. It has to have the number we're circling. Is it going to be shaded or open? Okay, good. It's going to be shaded because it's greater than or equal to. And the inequality sign is showing us what direction we're going to go. Which direction? Right. To the right. Okay, I would like you to try number two. And then we're going to try something today. We have not used the online part of our textbook very often. But when you finish this, I want you to come and get your Chromebook and log into Pearson and check your work instead of checking it against mine today, okay? I like how all of their examples that I do with you are whole numbers and then you'd have to do it on your own and they keep being fractions. That's just rude.